My beloved brothers and sisters, it is the duty of every single one of us to spread the goodness that we have. It is prohibited to enjoy goodness yourself. If you're a Muslim and Allah has blessed you with something, you have to think about how to share that. There's no other way. Otherwise, you're not a Muslim. One of the pillars of Islam is zakat. Zakat means you got money. You're not a Muslim unless you share that money. Do you understand what that means? So if Allah's given you a hundred pounds, for example, and you have the nisab and a year passes, if, you do, if you're not prepared to share some of it with those who don't have it, you're not a Muslim. So people don't look at it this way and they don't realize that Allah wants from us to share the goodness that we have as part of your faith. I want to ask you a simple question. What is more important, your money or your faith? Your faith. So if it is so important to share money, do you not think it will be even more important to share your faith? So if you have goodness, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says, anni walaw aya. You have to convey from me to others, even if you know a single verse, it's your duty. You cannot be considered a true Muslim if you yourself are enjoying the beauty of Islam and you're not prepared to share it with others in some way, shape or form. Not everyone is knowledgeable, but everyone knows a little. If I were to ask you, how many pillars are there of Islam? All of us will say five pillars. You know that much. Can't you share that? Subhanallah. If someone were to ask you about the Quran, what do you know of it? The little knowledge that you do have. So yes, it is a condition of conveying a message or teaching others that you know what you're talking about. But that doesn't mean you need to know everything. You need to share whatever you have.